Well, I join you's uh, Corruption Watch investigation uh, have uncovered the illegal collection of fees for blood by a syndicate operating with the National Blood Service at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital and the Greater Accra Regional uh, Blood Bank. At the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, a staff collected 300 Ghana cities for a pint of blood whilst the leader of a syndicate operating within the National Blood Service at the Kolibu Teaching Hospital uh, demanded some one, uh, 750 Ghana cities for a pint of blood. Chief Executive Officer of the National Blood Service, Dr. Justine Ansa says, no patient is expected to pay more than 150 cities for processing of blood. Join his investigative desk and uh, corruption watch, uh, Francisca Enchil, investigated uh, the distress and experience many patients go through uh, as a result of this illegal practice. In Ghana, there is high blood scarcity as the blood banks are not able to collect enough to meet the demand. For patients in dire need of blood transfusion, they either have to pay exorbitant fees charged by some hospitals or go through middlemen who facilitate the illegal purchase of blood at the hospitals. This lady who pleaded anonymity said she's been asked to pay 250 Ghana cities for a pint of blood. Cost is therefore a barrier to patients who need blood to survive. In case of any eventuality, but no more journey. And say, may ya ya, may ya be answer a mana and ye and a ye nay emergency. And say, you'll be a man in ye more journal. And say, now say it two hundred and fifty. That is the plight of some relatives of patients who are desperately in need for blood for their families on admission to the hospital. Unfortunately, the fees charged for blood has left them distraught. This middle-aged woman says blood bank operators she contracted demanded 400 Ghana cities for a pint. The hospital is a very rich here. It's a very rich here. It's a very rich million. We don't know how to do it. 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 The National Blood Service says blood is not supposed to be sold. However, one is required to pay a processing fee to run laboratory tests on blood requested for transfusion. The service says the cost of processing this blood should not exceed 150 Ghana cities. Chief Executive Officer of the National Blood Service, Dr. Justin Ansa, reveals the shortage of voluntary blood donations is the reason for the abuse of the system by unscrupulous individuals. Because of the scarcity and artificial shortage that is created, people who want to make um, take advantage of the system because there's always shortage also for the so there may be somebody who pays the processing fee group and cross margin to the bank giving a receipt, but around the person they may also have gotten somebody to come and donate for them or and then would have paid some money. So these are some but to be able to care that I will repeat that we need to make sure that blood is an essential commodity is 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 we have it in excess. The sale of blood has become lucrative because only six out of every 1,000 of Ghana's population donate blood. The expected minimum is 10 out of every 1,000. According to the National Blood Service, the national voluntary blood donation rate has declined steeply from 34% of total blood donations in 2019 to 17% in 2020. Dr. Ansa adds that over the same period, the percentage of voluntary donations collected by blood centers in Accra Kumasi and Tamale has recorded a corresponding decline from 52% in 2019 to 24% in 2020. So I just want to state that we don't have enough blood. We're only meeting about 60% of our collections uh, of what we need as a country. So definitely some people will be disadvantaged, which means that some people will not get blood when they need and it will affect more of emergencies. In order to find out how official and unofficial sale of blood occurs at some of our hospitals, our investigative team went undercover at Kolibu Teaching Hospital and the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, formerly known as Ridge Hospital. 
At the Kolibu Teaching Hospital, we approached Eric Menta, popularly referred to as Akwesi, among his peers, a man in his early 30s. He claimed to work at the blood bank situated at Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Our follow-up investigations established that he is the leader of a syndicate that facilitates the illegal purchase of blood at the hospital. We told him we needed blood for a patient with ovarian cancer. He demanded 750 Ghana cities for a pint of blood, but after intense negotiation, he reduced it by 50 Ghana cities. So we agreed to pay 700 Ghana cities. <laughs> We did not have the required blood sample and requisition form from an accredited hospital, but Akwesi took down payment of 100 Ghana cities, promising to give us blood once we pay in full. After providing blood sample and a requisition form, he provided the investigative team with a pint of blood. He did not give us a receipt for this transaction. It was the same for this desperate woman who needed a blood type O plus for the patient on admission at Kolibu. The request also did not go through the proper channel. The right thing to do was that the blood sample and requisition form should have been submitted at the designated post at the blood bank and an official receipt issued for the cost of processing the blood. Many other patients we spoke to shared similar stories of exploitation by some staff of the blood bank. We asked Chief Executive Officer of the National Blood Service, Dr. Justina Ansa, whether she is aware of the middlemen operating as a syndicate that facilitates illegal sale of blood at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. Because of the scarcity and artificial shortage that is created, people who want to make um, take advantage of the system because there's always shortage. Also, for the, so there may be somebody who pays the processing fee, group and cost margin to the bank, giving a receipt. But around the person, they may also have gotten somebody to come and donate for them, or and then would have paid some money. The investigative team also visited the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, formerly Reach Hospital, to look into the illegal sale of blood. At the facility, an official at the blood bank demanded 300 cities for a pint of blood. sample and requisition form with details of a hospital located in the Ashanti region. They did not do any further due diligence to ascertain that the facility was in the national capital but gave us the blood in a flask 
to be given to the patient. The medical director of the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Dr. Emmanuel Sorpeño, says the processing fee of blood at the facility should not exceed 100 Ghana cities. He finds it unacceptable that a staff demanded 300 Ghana cities for a pint of blood at the hospital. The fact of the matter is that blood is an essential material which is needed to save lives. So normally our policies vary depending on the circumstances. If somebody has an emergency on hand and needs blood urgently, we provide the blood. Uh, as and when she or he needs the blood, we provide the blood, but then they are then expected to pay what we call the processing fee. This, it is important for me to explain okay. what I mean by the processing fee. Blood itself, the blood itself, is not for payment because it's a gift of nature. It's not for payment. But when you take blood, we expect you to pay a processing fee because when the blood is donated, what happens is that we don't just transfuse it fresh as it is donated. It is processed. We do various tests, various investigations are done to check whether there is HIV, hepatitis, syphilis tests. All these things are done and it costs, there is a cost to them. So those costs are placed on the blood. So anybody who is coming to take that pint of blood will have to pay for that processing fee. That's what we call processing fee. Currently, to the best of my knowledge, the processing fee is 100 Ghana cities. Uh, that is what, uh, and then when you pay the processing fee, you'll be given a receipt. So any payment that is done without receipt is an illegality. Every minute, many more Ghanaians have to scale this barrier in their struggles for survival. Those who cannot afford may have to go home and die while a cartel continues to rip off the few who have the means to pay. <laughs>